Sound check. Let's have the focus. Oh, I forgot my watch. Oh, you already here? Let's get started then. What's up guys, welcome to another video of Bravo Architects. Today I'm gonna tell you three things I wish I knew when I was studying architecture. So the first thing is creating a custom map for your site analysis. Instead of just going to Google Maps and importing the map to Photoshop and recoloring them, you can go to snazymaps.com and create your custom maps for a certain area and download it as ready to use for your site analysis. In this website, you can choose specific colors for each elements of the maps, such as the roads, the parcels, water, or mountains, greeneries, as well as the text, subtitles, and etc. If you want to use ready templates, that is, that is also a good option, and you can download the image in the size of 3000 by 3000 pixels for free, which is absolutely fantastic. The second thing I wish I knew when studying architecture is using wipeouts in AutoCAD. Well, you know, you need to create the walls in a certain layer and you need to trim the openings so that the thickness of the layer or the walls would not be misunderstood with other elements such as doors and windows. But using wipeouts, you don't need to do that at all. You just create the rectangle for the space and another rectangle for the space that is adjacent to that place. And all you have to do is to create a wipeout underneath all the objects of the window and assign it to a window layer so that you can place it on top of the wall layer which would actually wipe out the layer of the walls so you won't see the thickness but you will still actually have the wall polyline in one piece when you want to see the area of a certain space you can just click on the polyline so that you can see the area of the space on the properties just by pressing the control one key on your keyboard the third thing i wish i knew when i was studying architecture is to create the 3D model of the walls in AutoCAD before switching to the 3D modeling software. It doesn't matter which 3D modeling software you use, it can be SketchUp, 3D Max or Rhino. Creating the model of the walls in AutoCAD does not only help you model the building faster, it also creates the parapets and the part of the wall that is above the lintel in the program itself Plus, you won't see any lines on the merging point of those openings. So this way, when you import the model to your 3D modeling software from AutoCAD, it will be already done. And all you have to do is to continue modeling the details and copying the repetitive floor plans on top of each other on your 3D modeling software. So these were the three things I wish I knew when I was studying architecture. I learned some of them on the final project and some of them after studying the professional life. It will be very pity for anybody to spend their entire architecture school without knowing these useful tips. I wish they can be helpful for you designing your project and modeling and presenting them. If you liked the video, don't forget to show that by hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel as well as turning the ring bell on so that you won't miss any videos. Stay tuned on Bravo Architects and as always, see you in the next one.